guys, Jordy here for Cinecam.net and welcome back to another episode of Copycat Friday. Now, today is a very special episode, guys, because we are on location, a beautiful location where somewhere Katara from The Last Airbender can be spotted and she's going to do some water bending for us. The only thing left to do is create the water which we're going to do inside Adobe After Effects and show you guys how it's done so you can water bend as well just like Katara. How cool is that? Katara? <laughs> Now, creating water is quite complicated to make. I mean, if you're doing it in post-production at least. Normally, you would need a dedicated software like X Particles, Fluid Simulations, or there's also a Red Giant plugin called Trap Coats. And there's someone who has dedicated his entire life to creating water and also the other elements from the avatar, which is CG Visuals. Now, he was able to take out the maximum out of the Trap Coat plugin to create some really realistic water effects inside Adobe After Effects. Now, there are a couple of problems though. First of all, you need to have Trap Code Particular, which is a paid plugin. You need to have the preset pack from CG Visuals, which also costs some money. And last but not least, the rendering times are insane. Just for a couple of seconds, you're gonna need to count more than 10 hours of rendering. And it's also quite complicated to explain, so that's why we're going to do it a little bit different. We've been taking a look at CG Visuals project and came across one effect that is actually able to produce some pretty realistic water as well, right inside After Effects without the need of any third-party plugins. And it renders super fast in just a couple of seconds, so that is what we're going to show to you guys in this tutorial video. But first you're probably wondering how do the water effects from CG Visuals preset pack look like? Well, we're waiting. Well, let's have a look at this short video. All right, guys, hope that you just enjoyed that video. It was a ton of fun to make. Now, some of the shots were enhanced with some stock clips off from Storyblocks, today's sponsor. Storyblocks is an incredible library packed with millions of stock clips, visual effects, overlays, and so much more. And I searched for some lens flares that I was able to put on top of some shots, definitely in those clouds to make them a little bit more warmer. And the only limitation is your creativity. For instance, you can download some really cool shots of these birds and put them on top of your shot if you want to, to add some extra depth. It does draw a little bit of attention, so that's why I didn't do it, but the possibilities are endless. Now, maybe you're missing a shot and you can also just browse through their high-quality 4K stock clips. There are some really beautiful drone shots of various jars, and you can also find collections so that you have stock clips of the same jar and team. Now, on top of that, guys, Storyblocks doesn't only have a video library. There's also an audio and an image library, and all of the sound effects that you heard in that short clip all came from Storyblocks audio. They have an incredible library there as as well. Just search for any sound that you can think of and they probably have it. And here comes the best thing guys. Storyblocks only charges one single price per year. It's a fixed price and you can download unlimited video assets without additional fees. So go ahead and click the first link in the description down below guys. We use it on almost a daily basis so I can highly recommend you to get it as well. All right and now let's go back and find Katara. 
12 seconds later. Guys, guys, I found Katara. Come have a look. Look at this. It's Katara, the water bender. Isn't that cool? This right here is actually Luna Black. She has a TikTok and an Instagram in which she does tons of cosplay. And tell us more. So usually I am more active on TikTok. So I make a lot of transitions, skits, and I also post little tutorials on how I make costumes just like this one. So if you're interested in that, go check out my TikTok. How cool is this, guys? All right, let's do some water bending now. Good, Lorenzo? Yeah, we just have a lot of wind, so we're trying to keep it still. We're sailing. <laughs> we're sailing. I am sailing. <laughs> what we need for this effect is actually quite easy. You only need to make sure your talent is in frame and that the talent is performing some kind of water bending movement. You could also take it a step further and interact with real water. So what we did in this case is just throw a rock in the water so it splashes up and later on we'll just blend it with our fake water. If you want some interaction with the water and the talent you could always make them pull the water out of some sort of bottle just like we did right here. Another tip, you can use this reflector with a silver side to recreate this reflection of water on somebody. But enough with other plugins, we are here for After Effects, so let the post-production commence! Of course, the first thing we'll do is place our shot in the composition. Then we're going to create a path that our water needs to follow. For this shot, we want to go around the talent in a kind of spiral. So, we take the pen tool while no layers are selected and start drawing a custom spiral around the talent. Of course, don't close the path, otherwise you'll be creating a solid shape. Then, let's fine-tune our line. Give the line the wanted stroke width, a round cap, some taper, and we also gave it an animated wave. Now this will be the look of our line. Next up is animating it. In the content properties of the line layer you can see this add option. Here we can click on the arrow and now we have these extra options we can add. The one we need is the trim paths option and with this we can animate the line coming in and out. For this trim paths option we will keyframe the start and end properties and let our line flow over our screen. Our line animation is done, let's make it look like water. We took our line layer and pre-composed it. Next we took a duplicate of our two layers and renamed all the layers. Our bottom two layers should be the two talent layers and let's call them Katara and Water. Then on top we have the line layers, the very top one we can call line animation and the bottom line we can call track mat. So now that we have order, let's continue. On our line animation we are going to add a few effects. First a fractal noise, then a vector blur and last a turbulent displace effect. Of course we played around with the settings for all three effects until we had something like this right here. And once we have the wanted look, we can copy the vector and the turbulent displace effect and paste it to the track matte layer. Next up we disabled both the line layers as we don't want to see them anymore and then we looked for the caustics effect in the effects library and added that to our water layer. And now we can play around with the settings under the water tab. But there are a few important ones we need to adjust. First, the water surface. This needs to be our line animation layer. Next, set the surface opacity to 0 and the light type to first comp light. And now we are completely free to adjust the water settings and create some awesome water. Mostly we played with the wave height, smoothing and water depth. These are the three main settings for our water look. Now if you have too much detail in your water, you can always increase the size of the fractal noise of the line animation layer. This will also make the water more smooth. But we're not entirely finished. We now want to single out our water, so we can add some motion blur and color grading to it. So change the blending mode of the water layer to Luma Matte. 
It will now use the track matte layer to remove everything except the water stream. Next, we selected the line animation, the track matte and the water layer. These three we pre-compose in one single layer. And now we can simply add a directional blur to the new pre-comp layer to create motion blur. And use the Lumetri effect to match the colors of the water and the shot. And then the last part of our effect will be some rotoscoping. We need to place our talent back in front of the water stream. So we simply rotoscoped her and placed her back on top where she needs to be. And oh yeah, if you want you can use stock clips of dripping water to add that something extra to your shot or you can use a particle emitter. Just animate one and place that in your line animation layer. It will immediately take over your water settings in your final composition. And that's it! So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you Storyblocks for the support and also thank you Aww. myself for being part of the video. And don't forget <laughs> to check my TikTok out if you want to see more of my cosplays. And of course, stay creative. Ik ben nat! Ik ben nat! Het blijft dan lopen, hè? Dan moet ik altijd iets in zijn mond. Orbanning! Nee, pak! Ik heb al een shot, jij wil een free shot maken. Ik heb. Ik heb...